All right. As promised, let's do a little flight and demonstrate some power settings, air speeds, things like that. And we're going to use the actual manual for the airplane. So takeoff, 95 to 105, not less than, depending on weight. So let's just say 110. 15 to 20 flaps. Climbing. Recommended speed is 160. The most comfortable climbing speed is about 175. So they say. Approach speeds at maximum landing weight. Engine assisted 120, glide 130. So you would use a gliding approach if you had like, you know, two engines shot out on one side or something like that, you know, just to, just to make it easier, right? So you're not fighting with the asymmetric thrust and all that kind of stuff. Uh, climb at 140 with the gear and the flaps down. And then, hold on. Got to rotate this. Beam approach landing. 135. Flaps 25. Minus 1 and 2400. Then you put the gear down. 2650 plus 2. Then you're descending. 130. Then the flaps go fully down. RPM to 2850. Zero to plus two. Okay. And engine data. So here's, I, I covered this a little bit in the last video, but yeah, climbing power is plus nine and 2850. One hour limit. That's enough to get you up to altitude, right? Max continuous, plus seven and 2650. For cruising, Like I said, 160 was our, our maximum, yeah, so maximum range, 160 at plus seven, and 2650 RPM. So maximum continuous power. Uh, for cruising, the cruise charts are here. You know, your best speed is about 160 again, 155 to 160 indicated speeds. And yeah, plus seven, no more than plus seven, not exceeding plus seven. Obtaining the recommended airspeed by reducing RPM, which may be as low as 1800, if this will give the recommended speeds. Higher speeds than those recommended may be used if obtainable in M ratio at the lowest possible RPM. So that's about it. <laughs> Pretty simple airplane, really. To, you know, it's not super complicated. So let's uh, let's do that. So I'm, uh, the yoke. I got the yoke hidden right now, so that I have access to the boost control cutout here. We are at Le Leeming. I think I'm at Leeming right now. Yeah. So we're at Leeming, and then there's a couple other bomber fields here. Top Cliff, I think. This is Top Cliff. And this is Dishforth. Those were bomber fields during the war. And so we'll just cruise around here, do a circuit. Okay, full throttle will give us plus 14 for takeoff at moderate loads. Heavy loads, you can use the boost control cutout to get 18, plus 18. So I'll do that just to demonstrate. So here we go, full throttle. Oh, 
Oh, flaps are 15. Flaps are set 15. Okay, there's plus 14 on the boost. Boost the cutout to get 18. We're looking for 110. There's 100. And let's go. Okay, airplane's off the ground. Get the landing gear up. Keep the nose down. Safety speed is 130. 140, you can start climbing. 160 is the optimum climb. Okay, we can uh, turn the boost cutout back on. Get the flaps up. Trim for 160. Okay, plus nine and 28.50. My prop controls don't work very well. They suck. So it's not the sim. If you see the RPM going all over the place, it's not the sim. It's my controller. Okay, that's it. Climb power set. At 160. Okay. Nice. Cruise. Cruising speed is the same as climbing speed, so no more than plus seven on the boost. And then control airspeed with RPM. So we're going to pull the revs way back. Way back to about 18 to 1900 for cruising at 160. Nice. Sounds good too, cruising along at low RPM like that. Oh, listen to that. I like that. That sounds sweet. Just cruising along. Now, so setting up for landing. Flaps 25. 2400 RPM and about minus one on the boost. I like to put the flaps down in a turn because the flaps will pitch the nose up. So by putting the flaps down in the turn, you don't have to use the elevator. <laughs> just That's just me. So let's, let's put her in a turn. Let's go flaps 15. There's the nose going up. Okay, we'll go flaps 25, 2400 on the RPM. And minus one on the boost. And we're looking for about 135 trim speed. Get the yoke back in here. Settle about 135 indicated. Okay, looks good to me. Okay, uh, straighten out our view a little bit here. Now we'll go uh, 2650. Six fifty gear down, trim for one thirty. Okay, boost as required. Get the 
book says minus minus two to zero. So we're at what minus almost minus two there. trim maybe just a touch cool my niggers down Full flaps now, 28.50, and about 120, trim for 120. Pretty steep descent, but if you were doing a power off gliding approach, it would be even steeper. So, what the heck, right? And with all that prop wash over the wings, you're going to want to keep the power on until the wheels touch the ground. At least that's what I do. Otherwise it's like hitting the air brakes and the thing falls out of the sky. Okay, power's off. Oof, bouncy. Let the tail come down. You can push forward a bit. Stay on the runway. Okay, there we go. Tail's on the ground. We're good. Okay. Get on the brakes. Bring it to a stop. Retract your flaps. That's it. Basic demonstration of power settings, air speeds. I'm sure there's a lot more we can look at, engine out situations and stuff like that, but you know what? You can do that in, on your own. That's the fun stuff. And uh, I think there's, this is version 1.1, it's just been updated. I think there might still be a couple of outstanding bugs. I'm going to have to uh, report them if they haven't been already. And uh, see you next time.